Hi, I'm Duncan, I play bass, and I'd just like to introduce you to uh, my new baby, uh, which I got this week. And this is a um, Music Man Stingray from 1979. Uh, they started making these in 1976. It was the first product that um, Leo Fender was involved with uh, after, he, after he sold the Fender to CBS. Um, and uh, this is uh, 79, as I say, in natural. And I, this absolutely perfect condition, this one. Uh, not a mark on it, not a ding. There's a little bit of thumb wear down the side of the neck and on the back of the neck. But apart from that, that's a 32 year old instrument. That's very good condition. Let me just uh, show you a few features of the pre EV of Venom, pre early ball um, stingrays. Uh, you got these early ones have a, the string through the body. Uh, so there's a hole all the way through the body here. Poke the string through here. Comes out through a hole in the bridge and up onto the headstock there, uh, which is a bit unusual. They got rid of that feature. I think after 79, late 79, they got rid of that. I may be wrong. Um, certainly the Stingrays nowadays, the only ball ones don't have that. Um, there's also a muting system they don't have now, which is a, a little pad with a thumb screw that you can lift up and raise down just to dampen the strings a little bit. Uh, another feature of these is they have a two band EQ, just a bass and a treble whereas the modern ones have um, the three band, they have a middle as well, uh, which is down here and the uh, jack output is on the side of the body. Um, there is the uh, cover for the battery cover, because this was I think the first bass that ever had a um, <coughs> preamp. It's an active bass, so it's got a preamp built into it, just to um, give the humbucker a little more power there and give it a little more definition and punch. And three bolt neck, I think the, the Stingrays now have a five or six bolt neck this is a three bolt neck on there and the other thing is that it doesn't actually say Ernie Ball on the headstock all you've got is Music Man Stingray Bass okay <clears throat> uh, another thing about this bass came with the original case which is in absolutely beautiful condition and it came with the original owner's manual a hand tag it's called and that was what was supplied with the bass 32 years ago when it was originally sold and it tells you how to set up the base what all the various controls do um, and then at the end of it, it's quite cool it's got the signatures of everyone who assembled it and packed it all those years ago, tested it in Anaheim, the factory was uh, in Anaheim in those days in California right, this is what it sounds like, the funky tones that a Stingray Pre-EB Stingray is known for. Um, I've got just playing through an even 1x10 cabinet, which is my little practice cabinet. I use a Mark Bass 4x10 for gigs and rehearsals. This is my um, Mark Bass F1 head, uh, power amp, 500 watt power amp, and this is a um, Pre Sonos Comp 16 little compressor, great little compressor there. Um, and this is what a Pre EB sounds like. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. And that's the pre-EB79 Music Man Stingray. See you later.